Here are some incredible looking upcoming games that you don't want to miss off of your radar. Number 1, Where Winds Meet. If you're looking for the next game that has a little bit of a Ghost of Tsushima vibe while waiting for the inevitable sequel, then you might want to have a look at Where Winds Meet. This is an upcoming martial arts focused open world action adventure game set in ancient China, specifically during the Northern Song Dynasty. The game itself will be choice driven and you're able to explore several different paths such as a path of chivalry, protecting the innocent, accumulating wealth as a merchant or simply exploring the ancient city of Kaifeng. The combat system is aimed to be dynamic by allowing players to combine various martial arts styles and skills which sounds pretty cool. We know that the game will include Tai Chi, Ching Kung for wall running and water running, and combat styles inspired by Wuxia. The game doesn't currently have a release date but was playable at Gamescom 2023, with the reception for the game being generally positive with players remarking on just how impressive it was. Number 2 Out of Action Everything just looks better in slow motion, right? Well, the new upcoming shooter Out of Action, which is only being developed by one person, looks as if it's taking the concept of slow motion and really running with it. The game uses an awesome cell shaded art style with fast paced combat and tactile gunplay that really brings the action to life. The game can be played solo or in multiplayer, with much of what we have seen so far being the multiplayer component. What's really cool about this game is that players are able to use bullet time in multiplayer combat, which is something we have loved ever since experiencing it in Max Payne 3's multiplayer, and alongside that we know that players will have access to a deep customization system allowing them to play the way that they want to. The game currently doesn't have a full release date but is scheduled to be released in Q4 of 2024. Number 3 Black Myth Wukong this game has recently had a massive blowout of information and gameplay in which it got people even more excited. Black Myth Wukong is an action RPG with a Souls-like feel that's inspired by the famous Journey to the West and Wukong themselves. In it, we know that players will be exploring amazing landscapes, taking on incredible mythical beasts in battle, and you'll be able to harness insane abilities. For the recent demo, we learned that players will be able to have 4 active abilities at once, with many more to choose from, and players can transform into different forms, such as the Red Mist Flame Warrior, to deal different elemental damage types and benefit from their specific bonuses. This is coming out for console and PC. Number 4 The Plucky Squire Sometimes the art style for a game is just perfect for what the game is aiming to do, and The Plucky Squire is one of those games, I mean just look at it. It's always great to see how the indie game scene is pushing the creative threshold, and in The Plucky Squire, you take on the role of Jot and his friends in action. Here's the official description for the game, quote, When the malevolent Hump Grump realises he's the villain of the book, destined to lose his battle against the forces of good for all eternity, he kicks the heroic Jot out of its pages and changes the story forever. Jot must face challenges unlike anything he's ever seen if he's to save his friends from Hump Grump's dark forces and restore the book's happy ending. Jump between 2D and 3D worlds in this charming action adventure, solving puzzles, boxing badgers, flying with jetpacks, and enjoying many more delightful and surprising mini challenges as you become the hero of a living storybook." End quote. Number 5, Killer Bean. With indie games, the art style isn't the only thing that's being pushed. What if I told you there was a second game on the list with bullet time, but this game is all about a killer bean. Killer Bean is an insane first and third person open world roguelike shooter. The developers have really leaned into the roguelike aspects for this one as supposedly the game's story, locations, characters and missions will be completely different in each run in this roguelike experience, meaning it should lead to some crazy but unique playthroughs. This game feels like a throwback to the late 90s and early 2000s, as this was a time period where developers could just throw in objects into a game and make it the main character, and to be honest, I'm here for it. Number 6, Alan Wake 2. If you're looking for something a bit more spooky to put on your radar, then the upcoming sequel to Alan Wake may be a great fit. The psychological horror from Remedy Entertainment is a long requested game after the success of the original cult classic and their recently released game called Control. This game will have a new spin on unraveling the mysteries of Alan Wake as you'll be able to play a second protagonist which is an FBI agent called Saga and she's been sent to investigate mysterious ongoings on the town Alan Wake resides at. Alan Wake 2 will be coming out for PlayStation 5, Xbox and PC on October 27th. Number 7 Chrono Odyssey Fans of MMORPGs have had it a bit rough in the last recent couple of years, with a number of releases not hitting the mark when it comes to being polished, 
fun and a quality product overall. However, one MMORPG that looks like it has a bunch of potential is Chrono Odyssey. It's an upcoming MMORPG for consoles and PC that focuses on navigating through a dangerous world using time-based powers and other abilities. It's being developed by NPixel, a relatively unknown studio, and the game was initially planned for mobile platforms but has completely shifted to focus on consoles and PC. It's powered by Unreal Engine 5, and if you're wondering about the classes, players can choose from six different character classes. The Swordsman, the Ranger, the Sorcerer, the Paladin, the Berserker, and the Assassin. Each with a distinct different play style and combat style, which is described as both dynamic and tactical, allowing for real-time switching between multiple weapons. This game has a bunch of red flags when it comes to monetization, so hopefully it stays on the right track, especially with its open world and large scale boss encounters. Number 8, Marathon. Bungie's new and upcoming PvP focused extraction shooter, which is set in the same universe as their earlier Marathon series. It will be available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, and PC. Players will take on the role of cybernetic mercenaries called Runners. You'll be exploring an evolving and persistent zone filled with AI enemies, enemy players, and environmental hazards. While Marathon is a mainly PvP focused game, Bungie is aiming to incorporate player-driven narratives within the game's overarching world, which is pretty cool. For those of you that want to play with friends, the game will support cross-save and cross-play, allowing players to team up on different platforms. However, Marathon won't have a traditional single-player campaign. With Destiny 2's multiplayer not being in the best place at the moment, with the player base being unhappy about the lack of updates, for Marathon, Bungie is working to ensure server stability and dedicated servers for a smoother online experience. This game is still in development, and the release date hasn't been confirmed just yet. Number 9, Phantom Blade Zero. This is an upcoming action RPG that caught the gaming community by surprise. It's being developed by a Chinese game studio called S Game, primarily known for mobile games in China, but now they're stepping into the console and PC gaming world. The game is set to release on PS5, PC on Steam, and the Epic Games Store, although there's no release date just yet confirmed. The game's story follows a warrior named Sol, who is framed for the murder of a powerful organization's leader and now only has 66 days to live. Sol must seek out the mastermind behind the plot while facing off against foes and inhuman creatures. The game features some awesome graphics and fluid combat animations, with action sequences being directed by Kenji Tanagaki, known for his work in martial arts films. The gameplay is set in a semi-open world with large maps, filled with various activities and enemies to defeat. We as players can earn weapons, armor, artifacts, and skills to customize and strengthen our characters. The combat in the game is definitely what's put it on our radar, and hopefully the game plays just like how it looks in the trailers, but only time will tell. Number 10, Blight Survival. If you're looking for something different, but also very cool, Blight Survival is one to keep your eye on. This is an upcoming four-player co-op action horror roguelike game being developed by High Nair Studio. It's set in a medieval world and offers a unique take on the zombie survival genre. Imagine The Last of Us but in a medieval setting. The concept is pretty awesome, especially with the fact that it's multiplayer as well. Players will need to balance stealth and aggression in order to survive, utilizing stealth attacks and a variety of weapons. Not much has been revealed about the gameplay, but the UI hints at gameplay mechanics, such as stamina management for combat actions and a currency system whose purpose is yet to be revealed. It has a loot-based gameplay with players scavenging from defeated enemies and boxes throughout the world. The game promises to have an extensive customization system, talents, and experience-based progression. We're really looking forward to giving this game a go, especially as fans of post-apocalyptic zombie games. So which of these games are you adding to your radar? Or do you have any other games that weren't on this list that you should tell us about in the comments down below? And check out the two videos on the screen. We have so many videos coming your way soon you won't want to miss out on. So check out these two videos or go on the channel and take a look and then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.